Hey guys, what's up? It's Ben. I'm finally back with another vlog. It has been a while, but we've got a very good one today. Uh, I'm going to be straight piping my 350Z again, I know, but it's going to be even louder than last time I got a single exit straight pipe. And I'm also picking up my new daily. Um, so the reason, I'll get more into it later on, but the reason that I'm straight piping my Z again is because I got a second car, uh, which is a new uh, Volkswagen Golf TSI, so it's going to be like a super economical daily car. I'll show you that guys later on. Uh, but let's have a look at the single exit straight pipe for the uh, 350Z. So this is an ISR single exit straight pipe. It's going to be extremely loud. I got this from a guy in the 350Z group on Facebook. It does have a small muffler, but I honestly do need that because I have the uh, Cat Delete test pipes. So without that, it'd be extremely loud. I also have a new sway bar because my one's a bit fucked and also a brand new, pretty much brand new, I think it has like a thousand Ks on it, Y pipe with good flex joints as you can see here this is all new mine these ones are shredded to bits um, and it also has a bit of an exhaust leak so it's not technically an exhaust leak but it sounds like an exhaust leak because these are shredded and they're just like flopping everywhere so it doesn't sound very good so we've got a lot of parts to install today we're gonna go to my mate Kalen's house who um, is sort of a I think he's a mechanic by profession but he's also uh, has a hoist in his garage which you, you guys will see soon um, but yeah it's fucking it's fucking sick um, he does a lot of work on my cars for me just like oil servicing uh, oil changes, all that sort of stuff. And I have actually put some uh, other mods on the Z since I lasted the vlog. So these are the new Notorious windshield banners. Um, a very subtle matte black look with the Notorious logo there goes all the way across. Really liking how these are looking. And you guys may have seen on my Instagram I got this carbon fiber, this legit carbon fiber roof spoiler. And I really, really like how this makes the car look from the outside. It's got a subtle little dink in the roof there and I just really love how everything's looking right now. Uh, once I pick up my new daily, I'm going to be taking off the front license plate because it just looks so much better with the front license plate there. Alright, so here we are in the workshop. Got the 350 up on the hoist. This is a, we'll do a before, a uh, bit of a rev with this exhaust uh, and, and then we'll pop it up and show you what this one's like and then we're going to chuck on the new setup. So we're going to be replacing the entire from, so there's the headers all the way up there and then these are the down pipes or they're usually called test pipes. So I've t uh, recently taken the stock catalytic converters out and replaced them with these resonated test pipes. And then we have the X-Force catback exhaust and this is the, uh, the shredded up pipes that I was telling you guys about. <laughs> Absolutely gnarly. So when the wind goes through here, I think that's what's making the leak sound. Um, because I got under it a while ago and there was no actual leaks. So anyway, we're going to be replacing this Y pipe because that is actually a dual exit Y pipe with two resonators back here as well. And then that goes back here to the X-Force muffler. Um, quite a big, like there's two kind of decent sized mufflers so it's going to be a lot louder than it is now. Um, I'm a bit concerned about how it's going to look because this diffuser, this is um, the Amuse rear bumper part of the body kit. This diffuser is obviously designed to have uh, dual exit exhaust in it, but we'll see how it looks. I think it's going to hang quite low. It's probably going to hang like pointing up this way, but yeah, we'll see how it looks. And oh, yeah, we're also taking out this um, aftermarket sway bar that has the dual bend in it for these pipes. So yeah, uh, this exhaust is, well, if I had the stock cats in it, it would be completely legal as you can see by the cert, little cert plate there. So um, yeah, we're gonna have to be a bit careful of this one on the weekends, <laughs> especially um, in the CBD, but yeah, let's get, let's get to it. All right, so while Kalen's inside uh, getting started on taking off that exhaust, I'm gonna just clean up the, uh, the tip here. So it's quite dirty. So it's gonna get some brake cleaner and some, uh, just some normal car polisher and just give that a clean up because it's, it's pretty, pretty dirty. <laughs> It 
it's not perfect, but it's a lot shinier than it was before. There's just a bit of surface uh, dirt on there. I'll probably get in eventually with some sandpaper and some actual metal polish and just get that all perfect. I would um, like a blue tip. I can probably get someone to burn that later on. Um, but yeah, a lot better than it was. Get this one all out now. This exhaust is like way more complicated than it. Oh fuck, it's still hot as. <laughs> Way more complicated than it needs to be. It comes through like fucking two different mufflers. Looks pretty good, but the tips need to be bigger. The tips that I had on before, I had a, um, I think it's a Fujitsu Tubo or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, massive tips, I think like 4.5 inch tips. This one looks pretty nice, but it's just, just not loud enough, eh? So I had this, um, aftermarket sway bar put in for the dual exit because that's a dual exit Y pipe so you have to have a, like a dual bend sway bar, it's quite weird. Um, that came with the original straight pipe that I bought and then sold because it was fucked. Well I just didn't even sell it, I just left it at my mechanics, I think he just threw it in the trash. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be putting the, oh there it is, which uh, is a stock 350Z sway bar back in and that'll fit, in fact is that? Yeah it should fit. But if that pipe's coming out that side. Was that the right way around? That that way way. Oh yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> Sweet it. <laughs> Hopefully it fits. <laughs> Didn't really get the angle for the camera for it, but managed to get pretty much the entire thing on. Make it just loosely. And um yeah, was, like, we didn't have gaskets for this one or that one back there because it's a bit bigger than the uh, other one, but it looks pretty good. I actually don't mind. I thought that it wouldn't look as good. I mean, it doesn't look as good as the dual exit, but I mean, hey, it's going to sound it's going to sound a lot better. I actually quite like the angle that this thing is coming out on here. And I mean, it's probably going <laughs> to probably going to burn up this part of the diffuser a bit, but eh, that's the price you pay. So, so we'll just uh, we'll tighten it up and then we'll get we'll get a start up. Oh, so yes. Man, very smart little bracket he just made here, just to get that on. Yeah. So I would look at that and I'd be like, oh, we just fucked. Like I wouldn't be able to figure that shit out. <laughs> you know, so it's nice. Sick. It doesn't look like a shit on anything. Ain't. Just tighten up another one. Awesome. Yeah, so I'm hoping that I don't burn up my uh, diffuser too bad, but we'll see. Alright, we're about to start it up for the first time. I'm pretty excited. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Yo, it's the next day, um, yeah, I got everything sorted with the car last night, um, you'll see that clip that I just posted of the flyby, I'm so happy with how the Z is sounding, I'll get another cold up, uh, cold start up for you guys right now, but I wanted to show you my new daily, uh, this is my new 2013 Volkswagen Golf TSI, so I just picked this up, uh, it's just my, gonna be my daily run around, but I'm really happy with, um, like the spec and the trim that I got for this, it's got some pretty decent aftermarket wheels on it. It's the Mark 7 so it's got like the facelift and it's also just a, a 1.4 liter, liter single turbo. But it's got a pretty nice pretty nice interior. It's got like cruise control, got the DSG paddle shifting gearbox, um, full leather interior, speakers are really good. Doesn't have Bluetooth though, what the fuck is up with that? Um, so I gotta get an aux cord or a Bluetooth system for that. And um, but yeah nice little comfortable daily right, I'm really sorry about the audio um, at the side of this vlog I forgot to have my microphone on uh, I left it in my bag so probably not the greatest it's a bit windy um, but I actually just did a few little mods on the Z I'll show you these ones so these are actually just some temporary carbon fiber little side skirt extensions I really like the look of them actually like you can see them just down the end there. 
I think they look quite nice. Um, so the reason I got those is I'm going to be getting some full splitters all the way down because I just got this splitter here. I got this made at Custom Coatings. Um, didn't really have the time to do like a full vlog on how it was made, but pretty much it's just a piece of aluminium painted black and then um, it's been shaped to fit along this bumper basically. So it looks just like a sort of semicircle, but there's actually a few different sort of lines in the bumper. But um, really good, goes like a fair bit of the way in under the bumper and it's also like a scrape guard as well. So instead of scraping the actual bumper itself, it'll be just scraping that piece of metal, which I don't care about. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So I'm looking for a few things. I'm looking for um, one, a full carbon fiber kit for this interior. Or if anyone in Auckland knows someone that does either carbon fiber or really good carbon fiber wrapping, I'm very interested in getting some work done. I need a new shift knob. I need a new shift boot. Um, and I also need an aftermarket steering wheel. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know uh, down in the comments. And I'm just looking to spice up the interior, but I also want to get some new seats. But I think I might import some from America. I really like the look of these um, Braum seats. Uh, they're quite expensive. Actually, the seats themselves, the seats themselves aren't too expensive. It's just the shipping. Like the seats are a thousand dollars US, which is not bad compared to like Recaro's, which are like five grand New Zealand. Like just stupid. Or like for, you know three, four, five grand. Um, I don't just really want to get like bride wraps. I want something. I don't know, like a bit more unique. Um, I might custom brand it to have the Notorious logo on it. Um, I also might do that with the maybe the shift boot or the steering wheel. Um, more stuff like that to come. But yeah, I just want some suggestions. Uh, if you guys have any good suggestions for steering wheels, shift boots, uh, gear knobs, any interior stuff. And yeah, if you know anyone that does carbon fiber or carbon fiber wrapping, uh, hit me up. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, in the future for the vlogs. Um, now that this is not my daily anymore, I can pretty much, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more uh, uh, driving just on the weekends and doing more fun stuff, if you know what I mean. So I'll put some of that on the vlog and yeah, take care guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.